Hey guys, what's going on? It's Salvage here, and today we're going to be talking about Rocksteady Games and what games they are not going to be making in the near future. If you're excited for Rocksteady Games' next game, go ahead and drop a like. Let's try to get to 200 likes before the end of tonight. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. We are really close to 30,000 subscribers. You guys have been killing it, and it's been amazing to see all the support. So let's get right into the video. The first game that I think everybody knows they're not making anymore, and they weren't making, was a Superman game. They are not going to be making a Superman game at all. Now, a lot of people might look at the tweet that Stephen Hill put out when the VGA was coming around and say, yeah, it's just a Superman game. But honestly, if I were to put money on it, they're not making a Justice League game. They're not going to be making no Batman and team up Superman game. You know, it's going to be no Superman. So anything that has Superman in it. I just don't see it becoming a video game. The next game that a lot of people have not actually heard them confirm yet, and I would like to take you back five years ago, or four years ago technically, to when Arkham Knight was about to release and when Game Informer was interviewing Sefton Hill about their game and what they were going to be making next. And Sefton Hill specifically said that they weren't making this game that a lot of fans want, and that is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. They are not making this game, guys. It's really something that a lot of people haven't been talking about. That they're not making a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, that they're not making a Superman game. If we keep narrowing down these possibilities, there's something that might come up on the other side. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is off the table. Uh, that was long rumored. That's been speculated about forever. Everybody's been saying that they want it. And I'm over here like, this was confirmed four years ago. They're not making this. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Sounds interesting. Can you rule that out at this point? More. I can officially rule that out, yes. And in that same interview four years ago, they also confirmed that they will not be making another Batman Arkham game. I think a lot of people think that we're going to begin like some Batman Beyond game or something, but that's not the case. We've been working on it for, I guess, probably eight years now, and it's a long time to, to work on it, and we kind of feel like you know, this is the natural end for the story. I don't think they're going to be making any Batman game. Uh, I think the Batman games are off the table. I don't think, I don't think that they're not interested in the character. I just think that after the last three games and the fact that they poured everything into them, I think that they want to break from the character. They don't want to go back to that lore just yet. And that's completely understandable. Now, if we have to speculate about what their game is, the only game that I've heard come up was a Teen Titans game, or a Titans game, to be more specific. And, you know, I, I, I feel like that would be possible, especially when it's the, the I think it's games for service uh, type of thing that, that they're planning. And the fact that Dr Jason Schreier uh, said that it's not something that people would be speculating about. Um, Teen Titans is there you know nobody would think about it nobody would think rocksteady teen titans you know really robin kid flash aqualad uh wonder girl you know all these characters this this colorful lineup of characters rocksteady would be making them. not that's not confirmed at all i'm just saying that that's what i've been hearing and i would you know i would be interested in that i think that would be pretty interesting i think that would be really cool if i were to want something from them a Flash game for sure would be very, you know, hey, in, in after your next game, Rock City, if you want to work on a Flash, I'm completely down with that. You know, I think anybody that has been a big fan of Rock City and knows a lot about the Flash think that they would go really hand in hand, uh, especially Barry Allen. I don't think that they could do a good Wally West, in my opinion. They're not really comical. <laughs> you know, if you look at Nightwing and stuff like that, they're not really good. But if they pulled off a of Barry Allen in a very dark Flash game, uh, kind of in a, a Batman Arkham tone, but a little bit more hopeful, I would definitely enjoy that. I would think that would be really, really cool. And even a Wonder Woman game from them, like if they refine a Wonder Woman combat where you fight gods and other people of Wonder Woman's strength, man, that would be awesome. Rock said it can definitely pull something off like that. And even in the storytelling of Arkham Knight, it, the way it was, I don't want to say it was like scattered. It felt very scattered in my opinion, Arkham Knight did. Uh, if they pulled that off with Wonder Woman, I think that a Wonder Woman game where you're going off into different quests and you're trying to defeat these different villains, I think that can work perfectly. That would go right up Rock City's alley. And I personally would love a Wonder Woman game from them. But, you know, 
we have to wait and see. I don't think that they're going to be announcing their game anytime soon. Maybe, I mean, maybe soon. Maybe next year in 2020 at E3 or a Game Informer thing, maybe. You know, uh, if we look at the track record, after WB Montreal's game in 2013, the next year later, they revealed Batman Arkham Knight. And if they do the same thing here, where WB Montreal comes out with a Batman game in 2019, and then Rocksteady comes out in 2020 and announces their game and releases it in 2021, that formula could work very well. And I would personally love that. I, I would actually really much enjoy that. Because then we would be getting Batman Arkham 2019 or whatever game WB Montreal is working on in 2019 uh, this year. And then we would get Injustice 2 in 2020. And then we would get Rocksteady's DC game in 2021. And then perhaps the cycle can repeat itself over again if they whip their developers into doing it after they develop that game. So, you know, I personally think that Rocksteady is ramping up to do something big. Uh, that confirmation at the VGA Awards that they're not working on a Superman game makes me feel like we're a little bit closer to an announcement from them. The fact that they're narrowing down the list of what they could be working on is definitely a big and good sign, and I hope that, hopefully, you know, 2020, they announce something. That's my prediction. That's my guess. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out.